back in Dhaka, um, still at the north part of Dhaka. Um, I'm out in front of the Shamoli shopping complex, so Shamoli Square shopping mall. So I want to go and have a quick look in here um, and see what I can find, and then I'm going to take a walk down south towards the Parliament building, and then I'm going to get the metro. So I'll see you there. I bought myself a pair of trainers from Drop Food. Drop foot shop number 415 level 4 Shamoli Square shopping mall um, if you want trainers come around here because there are tons of shops um, all good quality um, you know much much better value than what you get at home but obviously it's slightly different quality than you get at home so yeah I'm really pleased with my purchase it was a bit I mean an iron whether I needed to get them but hey, such is life so this is a shop owner Nam kita bai. Rakib. That's Rakib. Bai nam nam kita. Habib. Habib. So if, if you're ever in Dhaka, come and see them. Shop 415, drop foot, level 4, Shamali Square. So yeah, down to um, Parliament Building. The road behind me, if I walk straight down that, go down to Dhaka New Market, um, where I bought the Punjabis. So it's really hot, really busy and noisy, but I'm hoping to just have a walk today rather than relying on rickshaws I'm going to try and get on the metro give that a go, see what it's like um, experience it um, yeah, just see a bit more of Dhaka before I finish up, so speak later walking down from Shamoli Square down towards the new market it's, um, it's still very noisy but it's really sticky and hot loads of people hang hanging about hanging about doing their stuff there's sort of street vendors selling lots of fruit um, one thing that I didn't really notice yesterday obviously the rickshaw drivers aren't going to be loaded they obviously have a hand-to-mouth kind of existence but didn't see any kind of beggars or I would say really destitute people I don't have a roof on their heads I ain't gonna have a, you know one meal a day I saw some today coming out of that shopping mall I felt a little bit weird um, where I went to buy something I didn't really need. Um, it was just like a waste of, really a waste of money. But I did buy them, and then as soon as I come out, I saw you know a couple of kids sleeping on the sort of walkway that goes from one side of the road to the other, the elevated walkway, so people can cross the road. Um, saw a lot more adult sort of begging for money with the hand out I don't know if that's just because I'm walking and yesterday I was in a rickshaw and maybe it's just because I'm, I'm here and, and they're just, just sticking their hand out on the chance that I might give them something yeah it just makes me question what I've just done um, unfortunately I don't have a 14 day refund policy no questions asked it is site site um sold on scene sold on scene or something like that I don't know um, but yeah I think I need to think about that about you know why what am I spending my money on do I really need to do that but I wouldn't film giving money to people anyway I think that's exploitative and I think that's just people trying to show how good they are and for humanity and all that but you know if you're gonna do it you don't need to shout about it you just do it yourself and just feel good that you are helping other people and they're helping I've got a bit of an entourage, I don't know what's going on here. Um, but yeah, as you can see. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm going to carry on walking. I'm going to go to the House of the Parliament. Or the House of Parliament, I'm going to the Parliament building. And then from there I want to get the metro. So yeah, is, they're, they're very, very friendly. Everyone's curious. I think everyone is curious in a sort of positive, 100% curious way, not rather than why why you here or anything like that it's more like you sometimes you get people stare at you but i think that's just staring out of curiosity not staring because they don't want you here or you're causing offense to them it's just because they're just curious um i guess they're probably looking at a chocolate fellow and thinking what the hell's he doing here he should be on the rickshaws or something like that but hey, thankfully i don't have to do that because uh, I think I'd struggle um, you know I mean I'm just walking and it is absolutely baking really really sticky um, noisy as hell 
don't know how these people put up with it like I've said before but I guess you know when you're desperate or when you need money and there may not be as many opportunities as there are in the West then you've got to do what you've got to do to earn um, as long as you're not sort of robbing people and stuff like that but you're earning some money then who is anyone to complain just let them get on with it as far as I'm concerned anyway hopefully I'll get to the um, Chanjima Udan like I said um, I think locally people might know it as Zia Udin Udan or Udin I think it's Udan means garden and Zia was an old uh, military leader uh, essentially I think he had a coup and he took over the country um, so um, I didn't think that he was doing good for the country but obviously if they've got like a shrine to him some people must have thought he was doing really good for the country I, I imagine he he, had, he put in a military coup because maybe of corruption and stuff like that so yeah let's see where we got, get to next I think I'm coming up to where I need to turn left but there's lots of cops here um, my driver this morning said that the, the Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina is at home which is over here just to my left and that's why there's lots of guards with phone um, phones, guards with phones with guns, big off guns M16 type guns just um, hanging about because they're protecting the road so let me see if I get through on the road I'm on the, yeah, on the pavement I guess even though the Prime Minister is at home um, I think every couple of hundred yards there's like a little booth with a few men with guns so um, I think she's going to be safe uh, um, they're doing some road works here there's some piping to my left and looks like they're going to put in some kind of drainage in here but I'm hoping I'm not too far from the, um, the garden because I could just do with a bit of a sit down and a bit of a chillax I mean here's me with my bright ideas of yeah I'm, I'm going to spend all both days walking around I didn't do much walking yesterday and I felt tired I've been, I've been sat in the car for about two hours today and um, just did a tiny bit of walking and I feel shattered um, bloody worse than fat belly um, what can you do eh so I'm um, going to go and sit in the garden have a bit of a rest drink some water cool down a bit then I'm going to go and see the parliament building which is really unusual I quite like it it reminds me a bit of Lloyds of London where it's really unusual looking building and um, Lloyds of London is one of my favourite buildings so um, I just want to see this building a bit more close up I can't get right up to it obviously because it's Parliament building but there is an opening a bit further down I mean it's still got a big moat in it so I can't get to it but from the opening you can actually see the building um, very very unusual um, building but looks quite impressive the pictures I've seen of it anyway so I'm gonna turn it off now until I get into the garden okay see you later bye me going on about my um, walking break to Dhaka um, took the wrong bloody turning so I have to now go do a bit of a backtrack um, I'm pretty, it looks like I should have turned right earlier um, rather than turning where the um, the coppers were so I had to ask another bunch of coppers where am I go um, where is Chandrima Udin Udyan Udin I don't think it's Udin it's either Udyan or Udin um, I think they spell it U-D or we spell it U-D-Y-A-N Udyan got no idea so hopefully I'll get to this place um, and obviously just a lesson when, when you ain't got any data and you can't buy any data <laughs> try and probably read the map a bit better than you think you might, you might do anyway see you in a minute bye found it but it's not the bit I thought it was it looks like I'm at the back of it so again I had to speak to a copper so he said I have to walk through it and I should be able to get to the other side should be able to get to the other side so I don't know they I can see sort of barriers so I don't know what's going on so we'll just see what's going on a bunch of kids playing cricket right in the middle of the path so I think I'm gonna have to cross over see what's going on but yeah better go on the route on the grass because there, there's a big old bloody cricket ball I don't want to get whacked on the bloody head <laughs> yeah maybe I'm getting there slowly eh? three cricket games going on behind me and to my left it looks like a bit of football going on so blimey this park is um 
feels a bit weird because um, this bit looks a bit derelict. There's like bits of brick everywhere, lots of rubbish. But like I said before, people are trying to make a living and get on with life and they're not really bothered about whether there's a bit of rubbish here and there. I think they've got other priorities rightly so. So I think I can see the garden now. Um, they sort of pointed me in this direction. So I'm hoping I can get there. Um, I can't see an entrance, but let me see what I can do. They, they sort of said I could get in that way, so I um, really hope so. See ya, bye. There is no gate to get in, but as you can see, there's a makeshift gate here. So I hadn't turned early. Well, I, I, I did turn left. I didn't turn late, actually. I turned early um, when I spoke to the first police man so I should have just carried on going straight but at least I'm in the garden now anyway so I just hope I don't kill myself see ya um, so I'm in the, um, in the garden and behind me is the um, is the, the crypt the last pla resting place of President Zia and just behind that you can see the top of the Parliament building but I've just been told by a couple of friendly guys who are just opposite me who helped me over the gate to say that um, I can't get the metro today it's a public holiday so that's a couple of my metro plans um, so I'm gonna have to save the metro for another day but it means I'm gonna have to get a CNG or a rickshaw back down to the area that I'm obviously staying at so um, I might as well hang about here for a bit I take a little walk go go into the Parliament building and then from the Parliament building I was gonna get the metro down to see the Museum of Independence but I don't know how I'm gonna do that but anyway I think figure that out in a bit. See you later. Bye. To the, I call it a shrine, I think, but it's not obviously a shrine because nobody comes here to pray or any pray or anything like that. But I think called the most. I can't even say it. I think I'm, I think my brain's gone a bit funny. <laughs> I think the word words in my head, but I can't say it for the life of me. I can't pronounce it. Um, I want to say mausoleum. I don't even know if that's right right now because my brain is seriously messed up. So yeah. Um, so I'm here, right in the mausoleum of President Zia. I can tell it's a bit old. Don't know if they've been maintaining it. Um, but as you can see, let me just show you. Must have looked pretty smart when it was new. And I think it was from the, eight, um, I think it was leader in the 80s. So I'm gonna say mid 80s, if I'm not 100% sure. But it must have been quite nice when it was brand new. But it obviously needs a lick of paint. Um, it's got some posters on it, looks like. So I'm going to have it posters up of other candidates and God knows what else. So yeah, um, this is it. I just, it was just basically a stop, stop over to go to see the Parliament building, which is right in front of me. You have to cross the road. You can't go, obviously, into the Parliament building, but I'll be able to walk along it. Um, on the main road and just have a look so let's see what we can see mausoleum i think that's the right word for it mausoleum mausoleum but anyway i'm coming to this man man-made lake they call it the crescent lake because i think it's meant to be the shape of a crescent but if i'm honest it's more the shape of a half like a small half moon elongated small half moon um i couldn't see it proper being a crescent um but yeah, blimey, there's, there's kids swimming in it. Um, I think there's like a really fancy fountain system which they have on during sort of celebrations and stuff. But yeah. Um, so, yeah let's have a look. Sorry, some, some guys doing some photography. I'm in the way, so apologies about that. Let me just try and get past. You can see here this this is the lake. Um, not really a proper crescent. I don't think I think it's more of a half moon. Half moon you can see kids there bathing and swimming and doing what people do with open water. And there's the Parliament building across the main road. I think I'm gonna go on that side because it's shaded. Blimey, me and me and my shade, I need a bit of shade. Whew. But I'm um, going to get on get, get a bit of shade. Might even sit down and have a drink. So um, let me see what's going on. So one, once I know what I'm doing, 
I'll, and I get to where I need to go I'll probably turn it on again but that is the Parliament building as you can see but I personally like it I think it's a really lovely looking building really unusual I don't know how I'm going to cross this road though this is going to be a nightmare <clears throat> this is going to be a bit of a nightmare to cross this road I'm going to give it a go and that is the Parliament building crossed the road, found a gap and rat went for it. Um, you can see it's quite busy again as per normal but there's the parliament building. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk a bit further down towards sort of the farm gate kind of area but on this road and then it sort of opens up. I think the fence sort of disappears and there's like a moat which is then the security stop obviously people getting in. And um, on the way to the National Martyrs Monument, obviously we drove this way. Um, well, I wasn't expecting them to drive this way, but I did see there was a gap um, in the fencing. So I want to go there so I can try and take, take some pictures. It won't be perfect because it'll be from an angle, but at least I get to get some uninterrupted views of the Parliament building. So when I get there, um, I'll show you. Cheers, bye. In the open area, they wouldn't let me um, film or take any photos because they said that it's not allowed. Um, I did the polite thing and probably the right thing by asking the cop, huh? the cop, and he said no I wasn't. I mean I could have just been an ignorant tourist and just started taking snaps which part of me sort of thinks I should have done but then part of me is like you know we expect people to follow rules when they're in our country so ultimately I've got to follow the rules um, of the people here and if they say no, I can't film it, I can't film it. But that is where the Parliament building is. Um, down this like, lovely grand road. And you can see that they put barriers in, they close the road. I assume that's when the dignitaries or the Prime Minister is out and about. And that was the tube station I was going to go to, not tube, the metro I was going to get, but it's shut. So now I'm going to have to negotiate with buy you right here to see what price he can do for me um, to get me to the Museum of Independence because it's a bit too much to walk that guy didn't want to um, ride um, take me on a ride um, I don't know if because you know our communication wasn't great I my um, my speaking in English to a guy that probably can't speak a lot of English probably isn't the best idea of a way of communicating but um, I know where roughly where I want to go. I mean, it's going to be too long to walk. But I've got um, the metro line here above me, so I can always follow the metro line. And you know, I'm sure there's always, like I said before, there's always loads of rickshaw drivers. I'm sure when I find the right one, they'll give me a lift down to Shabad. So just wait and see.